Good morning again. Let's get love and have prayer this morning. It's a blessing to be alive this morning, to be in God outside this morning. Let us go in prayer. Father, thank you for this day. We never seen before him, Father. Lord, thank you for the for your son sacrificing his life for us, Heavenly Father. Lord, thank you for giving us another blessing of the holidays, Heavenly Father. Lord, pray for the one that won't come this morning. Pray for the one who won't come, but he couldn't make it, Heavenly Father. Lord, pray for this community. Pray for our pastor, our church this morning, my home church this morning, Shady Grove at the church, and everyone in the Heavenly Father. Pray for the one that's gone on, Heavenly Father. Lord, pray for this neighborhood. Pray for the president and the whole world this morning, Heavenly Father. Pray for all the school. Pray for all the young people this morning, Heavenly Father. Pray for all the soldiers that fight the war, Heavenly Father. You fix it, Jesus. Lord, I pray for the disease that's going around that hurt people and getting people sick, Heavenly Father. Lord, thank you for this day. Every heart say, Amen. 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 And Amen. Let's get along here, Pray and pray this morning. God bless you, may God keep you.
Amen. This is where the party where it's T G I F. Show up. Thank God. Amen. It'll be Friday. And then we're gonna live it up. Live it up. No, I like you don't know what I'm talking about. Live it up Friday night. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm still dancing. I just changed the point. Amen. 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 This one. Oh, I feel so much better the day after. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Y'all gonna work with me tonight? Yes, yes. Amen. Help me, help me, help me. Yes, sir. We honor the Lord in your presence until these ministers and God the gospel and wives and deacon wives of Henson, ministers of music and all those God's people. It's good to be here. Amen. I said it's good. It's a blessed privilege yes, to be here one more time. Amen. There is a word. That word is found in the book of Jeremiah. All right, Jeremiah. Amen. In the book of Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. And God gave Jeremiah some instruction to give us. All right, sir. And if you follow the instruction, I guarantee you, mm -hmm. you'll come up good yeah. on the other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, when you follow the instructions, mm -hmm. you will come up good on the other side. Amen. And maybe sometimes your cake don't come out right because you didn't follow the ingredients. Or you left something out of the cake. Maybe the green didn't sound. Didn't taste right because you left something out. Well, maybe your spiritual life does not be what it ought to be because you're leaving something out. Maybe your day is not as blessed as it ought to be because you didn't start the day off right by telling God thank you. For the day, even I don't feel my best. Thank you for whatever I'm feeling. Amen. 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 Jeremiah 33. Verse number one. Verse number two. Verse number three. If the Lord don't finish. Amen. Tune in next Sunday. Chapter 33. Verse number one, two, and three. Everybody have it? Yes. Say amen. 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 Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah yes, the second time, while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison. Yeah. He was in, literally in prison, yeah. mm -hmm. but he still had a prison praise. Yeah. Let me rewind. Mm -hmm. He had a prison praise. Yeah. Things went the way that he thought they ought to be. But still, God still had so he had a praise in spite of yes. the situation. Amen. I, I'm preaching all good. Amen. You got to have praise in, right. in order to get out of it. Right. Amen. Amen. Shut up the court of prison saying, look what he said. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Uh -huh. The maker thereof. The Lord that formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Isn't that amazing? Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. In order to get an answer, you got to call. In order for him to bless you right, you got to call right. Let's pray. God, we pray now that you bless your word. Application as we always pray to your people. Glorification to your name. Use this preacher to deliver your word. Hide me. And you come forth. And have your way in these services. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You sweet message from the Lord. God says, call me. Mm -hmm. God says, call me. He promised to answer. Can I put a little nugget, another little nugget in there? He knows my name. God says, I didn't say it. I'm going to encourage you to pray. Amen. But God says, Call me. Mm -hmm. He will and he promised to answer because he knows 
my name. Amen. 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 We may pray on behalf of others, but we got to learn to call God ourselves. That's right. Somebody may pray for us, but we must come to a point in our lives that we got to learn how to call on him ourselves. No matter what's going on, call him. No matter how you feel, call him. No matter what situation in your life, call him. And you call somebody that can help you. Because some people we call are up to no good. Some people we call don't need to be calling because what you put your trust in them and they betray your trust because what they tell somebody else your business. I recommend you call somebody that that man that can fix your problem. You call somebody that won't tell you. You call somebody that have a proven track record that he will answer your prayer. The only way he don't have to is you don't call him right. If you call him in faith, God said, his word says, if faith honors God and God honors faith. Amen. Am I right today? Amen. Amen. So call God. Yes, sir. God says, call me. I will answer. Not your horoscope, there's no need in there, there's no answer there. Not your newspaper, there's no answer there. Because in the entire day, we're going to get a paper every other day. You got to call God every day. If he wake you up and be blessing, you're moving, you got to call him to thank you for just the things that well on as it is. He promised to answer. Why? Because he knows my name. He knows my faith. He knows my faithfulness. He knows my meditation. He knows my salvation. Because what he gave it to me. He knows me. Yes, sir. Isn't that good now, Chuck? Yes, sir. That you can call somebody. And I said earlier, amen. Be careful how you're in a circle. Because you don't need a whole lot of folk when you're in a circle, no way. Amen. Amen. If Jesus was particular, he loved everybody. But if he was particular about his inner circle, right. amen, those he called on, those he walked with and tried to teach them, even at the end, Peter, amen, said, I don't know him. But he didn't charge that to Peter. You need to be careful today of your inner circle. And let me tell you something else. You don't need a whole lot of friends, no way. Amen. You need to love everybody. You need to have some associates. But 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 I, I think for the most part, a lot of people don't understand what a friend is. Amen. Amen. A friend won't dance around and they'll tell you the truth. A friend will be there when nobody else is there. Amen. If you don't have a friend, I recommend Jesus. He's a friend that's get closer than a brother. He's a friend that won't tell you the friend that never leave you nor will he forsake you. I may get tired, but Jesus never weary. He, he never get tired. He never thinks about getting tired. He's a friend. Yes, sir. But even in a set in our earth in a circle, mm -hmm. it ought to be small. Mm -hmm. It will be small. Amen. Amen. Everybody don't need to know your business. Amen. No way. So I tell you, stop putting stuff on Facebook if you don't want nobody to know it. Isn't that right? Amen. And sometimes your business don't need to be everybody else's business. Talk to me if you can. You don't even have to put birthday on there. You and the Lord know how old you are. You right? Right. I ain't getting no amen. Amen. But anyway, he promised to answer. God promised to answer. Mm -hmm. As we look at the text today, we see a man, and I want to get a little bit of 32 before we get to 33. Right. We see a man in prison. Right. We see a man in captivity. Right. Not able to do as he thought he could do. Mm -hmm. But even in captivity, right. this is a man that knew God. Even when things are not going or not the way that we think they ought to be, you need to have a God that you can call on. Yes, and even when things are not comfortable as the war with Jeremiah, Jeremiah still knew the Lord. He still was able to call God. Amen. It's easier. It's easier, rather, amen, to, to feel better when things are not happening, when things are running smooth, when, when you got a little change. It, it, it's easier to praise God when you got some money. It's easier to go to Walmart when you got some change in your pocket. But let storms come and let situation come. That's the, really the time that you know what kind of relationship you have with God. Because when, when the valley, you got to know that he's a lily 
in that valley. Anybody, amen, a lot of folks can praise them when they're happy. Praise them when the trouble not in your house. But here come trouble, and trouble will have a teach you to praise God in spite of. Am I preaching to your room? Is anybody on your room? Know what I'm talking about? Amen. It's, amen. When it's convenient. Yes, sir. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Amen. You go to Walmart when you know you got some money. You can jump out that car. Take off running. Amen. No, you got some evil in your debit car. But when you know, used to be a time, but don't, don't, don't try to uh, do no check now. I think uh, they give you the check back. It, it used to be you could write the check and pray that it don't run too. But now you're going to have some men there because they give you the check back. Am I right about it? But when you know you got some some, some, some uh, sufficient funds rather than insufficient funds, it's easier to go in there, amen, and go in there and shop because what? You're not nervous about your purchase. Amen. It, it, it's easier to go to the throne of the priest when you have spent some time with the Lord, when you have still away to Jesus, and you don't have no problem to come boldly to the assurance of God because what? You put some time in. You talk to him before. You pray his word. You meditate on his word. Amen. It's easier to go to him when you know you have put the time in. Amen. Am I making sense today? When the Bible said, come boldly to the throne of grace, that means what? With assurance. When you know God has done things for you, when you know and you understand God is the one that bless you, when you know you experience that God is the one that heals you, when you know you experience that God is the one that gave you strength, that gave you peace was a path of your understanding, you're going to keep going because what? God has proved himself, which he don't have to prove, but he proved himself. He's sick closer than a brother. He is there. He'll never leave us, nor will he forsake us. But when you got some doubt, you're going to pray less. When you got some doubt, you're going to go to the one that you think don't help you. But the last half, this man was in prison. He thought he couldn't. He was in capacity. Amen. Jeremiah. But he knew God. He was a servant of God. He didn't just have a zeal. Of knowledge according, amen, just knowledge of a, a, a part-time or any time he needed God. He had a relationship with the Lord. And the Bible talks about being a servant. In order to be a servant of the Lord, then you got to know the Lord. Amen. And when you, in order to share God's goodness to somebody else, you got to know something about him yourself. Why would you recommend, amen, that he'll answer prayers if you don't believe that he'll answer prayers? Why would you recommend him being your banker if you hadn't trusted him to open up the windows of heaven and pull you out of blessing? Why would you tell somebody he'll heal you if he hadn't done nothing in your, come on, talk to me. You won't recommend nobody that you don't have no confidence in. But I said notice to you today, I got a track record of knowing what God would do for you. He'll make a way out of no way. He'll pick you up when you don't feel like getting up. God is and he will do just what he said. So what? We got a call. Then came, the Bible said, then came God's word to his son. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. He said, but I want to ask you a question, Jeremiah. I want to ask you a question, Shady Bro. I want to ask you a question, Pastor Henderson. Do you believe that God can do anything but faith? Do you believe that nothing is too hard for God? Do you believe that to take amen, that nothing too hard for God? Do you believe that, Shady Bro, that nothing is too hard for God? He said, now, Jeremiah, you got to tell me that you believe. Because I want you to tell Israel that nothing too hard for God. Now what the book said. He said, Jeremiah, is there anything too hard for God? Now how would I want to stand here and preach about something that I don't believe? How can I stand here and tell you that the Lord will say, 
if I'm not saved myself. Right. How can I tell you he's a way maker? Yes, if I don't believe he had done nothing for me, uh -huh. ain't he all right today, Jeremiah? Yes, right. So Jeremiah, if God is telling Jeremiah, he's telling Henderson today to tell Shady Grove, keep calling on God. Yes, right. God will. Amen. God said, Amen. call me. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. God said, I will allow. Hear me now. The punishment yes, from the enemy, yes, I'm going to allow it. Because you messed up. Yes, I'm going to allow it. Yes. Because you were disobedient. Yes, Come on, talk to me. Yes, God said, I'm going to allow it. Yes. If you read behind the children of Israel, mm -hmm. they was a piece of wood. Right, God bless them. God bring them out. They'll turn around and start complaining. Yes. God tell them, I don't have no other God before me. Yes. They made a God made out of gold. Yes. God will bring them out. Yes. And when God show about blessing them again, they're turning around and talking complaining and said, God, you should have left us here. Don't that sound like us. You don't have to say amen. You don't have to wave your hand. You don't even have to agree with me because I know that I'm right. Well, been there and done that. If you are not careful and stay in the Word and stay in God, amen, God bless you. If you're not careful, you'll start complaining about something that had not came quick enough. God will already heal you. God will already bless you. And if he, he don't hear you quick enough, you'll start complaining. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, man. Amen. Because it needs to be told. Mm -hmm. So he said, I'm the Lord. He said, I'll bring you back. Listen. He said, I'm going to allow it to happen. Yeah. So thank God that what happened to us, Satan get permission from God. To test us. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me say that again. He don't want us. We're saved now. All right. If we're saved now, Satan had to get permission. Notice now, he go to and fro in the book, amen, to and fro to see who he can what mess up all the Bible. He go to and fro seeing who he, what he can get in at. He only can get in if you open the door and let him in. He, that, he'll continue to go to and fro. He's looking, amen. Looking, but God said, I tell you what, I got somebody. All right, sir. I got some faithful people right, at Shady Road. I got some people that know me. I got some people that wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in me. I, I want to recommend their faith to you. I want to recommend their faithfulness to you. I want to, and then what God said, I just say, amen. I, I, I want to recommend them to you. Because if you, amen, if you inflict some pain on them, change the road, they still going to bless you. If you can, and they still going to bless me, brother. If you inflict something on them, they still going to lift their eyes to the hills of which come to their help, and their help come from the Lord. So he said, go ahead, say, take your best shot. Now, let me tell you something, church. It will help you if you take what Satan throw at you and turn around to God. Amen. And God bless you. Other words, what else you got? You ain't got nothing. You trying to mess with my family? Go ahead. God got them. You trying to mess with my job? Go ahead. God sealed it. You trying to mess with my testimony? Go ahead. God gave it to me. What else you got? Say it now. Everything you got, I'm going to take it as a spiritual weight room to make me better. He said, I'll tell you what. I'm going to allow it. Look at the word. It says, verse 32, chapter 32, verse 26, 27. He said, I'm going to bring the people back safely. Safely. Yeah, that's what the word said. And then he said, I'm going to give them one heart. Don't you know why the church stay together? It's because we are one. And one we are. We got one heart. Because what? We got the heart of the Lord. One church. Amen. One Lord. One baptism. Uh -huh. Amen. One faith. It's one. So he said, I'm going to bring the church back to one. And the reason why I'm going to bring the church back to one, because the church belongs to me. Amen. Now I might allow them to go through some trouble, but I'm going to bring them back safely. Amen. Right. And when I bring them back safely, I want you to tell them, Jeremiah, to tell them to call on me. Tell them to call because what? When they call me right, I will answer them. And when they get down on their knees and talk to the hill up to the hills, I will answer back. And don't amen. You don't have to think about what kind of name God got. Just call on God. 
If you want to just call him God, call him God. If you want to just call him Jesus, call him Jesus. If you want to just call him Lord, call him God. But whatever you do when you call him, call him in faith. Not only will he show up, he'll show up in the emergency room. He'll show up on your job. He'll show up under the He'll show up. Everlasting covenant mean agreement. Yes, sir. And Jesus come back later and said, Lord, I'll be with you. All right. Even to the end of the earth. Amen. He said, I never leave you. Right. Nor will I forsake you. And verse 42 said, God says, I will allow evil because of you disobedient. Amen. But now I'm going to bring you out yes, sir. because of you. <laughs> Obedience in me. Thus said the Lord, the maker of the earth. He said, Upon that I establish it. My name is God. Yes. That's why it, 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 we need to be careful about calling him the man of staffs. He's not the man of staffs. He's the one that saved the rich like me. Be careful about calling him an it. Amen. He wrote the English book. He's not an it. He's God all night. Do I have a witness here? He's the one that sits high and looks low. So he's saying, call, tell the people to call me. And when they call me, I will answer them. God instructs, amen, Jeremiah to call unto me. And the reason why he was specific <laughs> with that, because you can read your Bible sometimes, they have the little gods. And the little gods can't say, the little gods can't really do nothing for you. Right. But he's the God, he's the I am God, he's the Jehovah Jireh, he's the Yahweh, he's the way out of no way. He sits high and looks low. Hey man, he's the one that stepped out of eternity in the time. That's the one you got to call. And you got to call him when you're up, you got to call him when you're down. You got to call him when you don't feel like it, and you got to call him when you feel like it. Because sometimes you got to have that yet praise built up when you don't even feel like waving your hand. God said, call me anyway. And if you can't say my name, put my mind, put your heart on me. Put my mind, put your mind on me. If you can't say a word, wave your heart. If you can't say a word, wave your head. If you can't say a word, wave your step. He said, for the step of a good man, a honor by the Lord. When you don't feel like it, still call on me. Is anybody in the house today calling on God? Did you call him last night? Did you call he woke up, did you call him? Did you call him and tell him sometimes, thank you for saving me? Do you call him sometimes and just say, Lord, I just want to call you because I love to call your name. It's something about the name. So don't remember, don't forget whatever situation we're in, there's always a word from the Lord. You got to learn to call him, Jack. Call him when you're hurting. Mm -hmm. Call him when you're heartbroken. Yeah. Call him when you're lonely. Mm -hmm. Call him on behalf of somebody else. Right. Call him when you're making decisions. Call him. Yes, sir. God will answer. Yes, sir. One writer said, I sought the Lord. He heard me. Yes, Excuse me, and delivered me from all of my fears. Yes, Call him by faith, in faith. Be faithful. In calling him. Another thing I need to tell you be patient in calling in him. Amen. 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 Stand and wait with assurance. Mm -hmm. Call him confessing your sin. Right. Amen. Because we have sin of omission mm -hmm. and do we have sin of commission. Yeah. These faithful actions from us will cause God to pick up his divine line. Amen. And when you call it right, he never hang up. Sometimes we call people, he, they'll hang up. Or sometimes they don't want to see your number and don't want to talk with you. 
Amen. But if you call God by faith, yeah. Amen. He's so awesome. He can answer Henderson call. He can answer Jones call. He can answer McClendon. He can call answer Keith. He can answer Curry. Amen. He can answer Steve. He can answer Deacon Al. He can answer Morgan. I don't have time to call everybody, but he can answer all of them. Call at the same time. Amen. What an awesome God we serve. And I'm glad I'm going to keep calling today because I have a proven track record. That God may not show up when you want Him. But the Bible said He's always on time. God said, Call the one, Amen, that saved you. Amen. His name is, a, you know, my name. Amen. God Almighty, the Lord is His name. Don't call God out of His name, but call God in His name. And the word said, Call unto me. I mean, you gotta reach down in your soul. You gotta reach down in your spirit. And you gotta call Him in honesty. Lord, I need you. You don't have to call a long prayer. You can call Him a short prayer. But tell the Lord, yeah, I need you. Amen. I need you every hour of the day. I need you every second. I'm calling on the Lord And he's all right today Keep calling on the one that died for us Keep calling on the one that went in the grave for us Keep calling the one that gets your lesson Keep calling the one that gives you a mind to get your lesson Keep calling the one that gives you birthdays Keep calling the one that gives you strength to go to work Keep calling when the doctor say you weren't going to make it And the Lord step in and bless you one more Time. Keep calling him for your family. Keep calling him for your neighborhood. Keep calling on the one that says hi. Ain't he all right today? Keep calling my Keep calling on Alpha and Omega. Keep calling on the beginning and the end. Keep calling on the one that sent of our spirit. Keep calling on the main doctor. Keep calling on the one that's enough. Keep calling up, be the friend that's the cousin and a brother. Keep calling up, oh the Lord. Won't he answer? Won't he answer? Won't he bless you? Won't he do it? He got up just to bless us. He got up just to save us. He got up, ain't he? Of 
life. You'll have a witness here. And, and I'm so glad that somebody may bring it up. And God said, I don't have it. You can bring it up, my past or your past, whatever the case may be. God said, I've already forgiven them. I've already cleansed them. I've already set them free. I've already saved and sanctified them. And all you got to do is tell God, thank you right now for being covered in his blood. Thank you for being filled with his spirit. Thank you. Let nobody dig up your past. Right. Why? They can't do nothing about it. That's right. And they can't forgive you. That's right. So what? Leave it alone. Now what you do is leave stuff alone that you already been forgiven for. Let it go. Things that you don't need. Conversation that will hurt you. Don't bring them up. Let it go. Thank God for his word. Thank God for his spirit. Thank God for you. And you. And you. God said, call unto me. Yes, sir. I will answer. Then he said, Yes, sir. And he made it plain. Now, if you don't believe it, don't waste your time calling. But if you believe, call him. And when he answered, tell him thank you. And that thank you is twofold. You tell him thank you with your mouth, and you tell him thank you with your life. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. When you when Lord's in your heart, you got a heart of compassion. You got a heart of caring when you're not even there. That's the Lord. He know my name. <laughs> Amen. And guess what? He's not afraid of you. He knows my name. Call him. He'll call you back. Why? Because he knows your name. Yes, sir. Yes. And God for his word. Amen. God for his spirit. Amen. Amen. I Amen. hope and pray everybody's here is saved. But I mean you have confessed and you believe Jesus as your Savior in your heart. You confess it with your mouth and believe in your heart. The Bible says, Thou shalt be saved. Yes, sir. Man, believe. Amen. You believe in his heart, you confess it with his mouth. Amen. If you're not, there's some openings. You can come to the Lord.